There is something very interesting that President Trump did not do in the month of June. President Obama had done it for eight straight years, and quite conspicuously, President Trump didn't do it. Namely, declared June Gay Pride Month, or LGBT Pride Month. Now, his daughter Ivanka sent out a tweet celebrating Gay Pride Month and congratulating gays and lesbians and so on for their accomplishments and things like that. But it's significant to me that President Trump did not declare June Gay Pride Month. Not only so, that the White House declared it, you know, this month, that, but all these different things. Maybe every month there's something that gets declared, but not Gay Pride. It's very interesting to me that a few months back, we were told that the Trump administration was going to put out an executive order on religious liberty. And instead, to the shock of of religious conservatives and and the conservative right in America, to our shock, what happened was another order was put out saying that all of President Obama's guidelines about gay and transgender uh, ethics in the workplace and how the government couldn't distribute, uh, couldn't discriminate, federal government couldn't discriminate against gays, lesbians, transgenders in the workplace, that 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 was put Put forward instead, saying we'll uphold everything President Obama had in place. It was the opposite of what was expected. And it was widely reported that this was due to the influence of Ivanka and Jared Kushner. And and all through the campaign, it was clear that President Trump wanted to be a champion of religious liberties, but also wanted to stand up for gays, didn't want them attacked like the tragedy at the Pulse Bar last year and things like that. And, and when he was asked repeatedly, well, what happens when there's a conflict between, say, quote, gay rights and religious rights? What happens in that conflict? We never got a response. My perception was he hadn't worked that through and he wanted to be a friend of both and didn't want to see either one get hurt and hadn't realized that there was going to be an inevitable conflict. It appears now that he realizes that his base, the base that got him elected, those that are standing with him in the midst of the storm, those who are giving him godly counsel as to how to step higher and do better, these are consistently those who are conservative, who are religious conservatives, who are biblical conservatives. And he definitely has admiration for the Christian leaders he's met with, and he definitely wants to be a champion of our freedoms. So it seems to me that the core values that got him elected, which are conservative, which are leaning to the right, which are things that many biblical believers can support, not everything, but much of it, that that is winning the day. You say, why does it have to be so mean to gays and lesbians? It's not a matter of being mean. We don't need to be declaring June Gay Pride Month. Just about every single day, there's another further push, uh, gay activism here, transgender activism here, now drag queens reading to little kids in libraries, and we're just supposed to say, great, we don't need to celebrate gay pride. Let us reach out to every American with love. Those of us who are followers of Jesus, let us share the good news with everyone, gay, straight, whoever they are, however they identify, whatever their background. Let us treat everyone respectfully. Let us not allow anyone to be attacked or hurt because of, of how they identify or how they live. And at the same time, let us celebrate what we believe is right and what we believe is best. You can call me a bigot if you want, but I'm not celebrating homosexuality. I'm not celebrating bisexuality. I'm not celebrating transgender identity. I'm praying that those who identify as LGBT would discover that God has a better way. And at the same time, I will advocate for their equal rights as citizens here in America under the law, that they can't be attacked and hurt simply because how they identify. At the same time, I will not celebrate gay pride. And I'm glad that this year the president did not either.